Hello Internet! I'm Steve Tassi, the Board Game Guy, and here I am with an unboxing video of what just arrived in the mail. Last year I kick-started a game from the lovely people at Itten Games in Japan, the makers of one of my all-time favorite games, Tokyo Highway. That game was called Crash Octopus. And after a very long wait, including some unforeseen customs delays, it has finally arrived. Let's dig in. Here is the game. A smaller box than I was expecting based on the photographs that I've seen of the game in action online, but uh, that is something that uh, some of the Japanese companies tend to do, is nice small compact boxes. So let's take a look. Crash Octopus, the super flicking game. Rules manual, that is more elaborate than some of the manuals to their other games. Lots of diagrams, that's good. Always helpful. For those of you who haven't heard of Crash Octopus, it is a flicking dexterity game where players are the captains of treasure diving ships and you are trying to get a bunch of treasure onto your ship while avoiding the octopus and its tentacles. Here are the flags for flicking your stuff around. They are wooden sticks with paper, but very sturdy paper stickers. So I think those are gonna be okay, good and durable. I know a lot of people on the uh, Kickstarter campaign were like, but the paper stickers on the flags, they're, they're not gonna stand up. Well, I think they will. All right, here is the rope. This creates the playing area. So you stretch this out and make the patch of ocean that you are going to be playing in. It takes a fair bit of table space, but nothing extraordinary. There we go, yeah. These beads are used for counting rounds, and when the black beads get moved, you have uh, a round where the octopus attacks. The player boats. It is a four-player game. Each player has their own color-coded ship. Here's all the treasure bits. So you want to be the first captain to get one of each treasure item onto your ship. The game's namesake, Crash Octopus itself. Love this. The octopus head and then all the different tentacles. You don't want to get too close to the tentacles. Now, uh, this was an extremely successful Kickstarter campaign, so they included a bunch of expansion things in here. There is a pirate ship. I haven't actually read the rules of the game yet, so I'm not sure how the pirate ship works, but uh, that is the uh, most awesome little hot pink pirate ship I've ever seen. We also have A deserted island, which seems to come with additional treasure tokens. Perhaps that's what they are. Bottles of rum, maybe. Starfish? Who knows? I'll see when I look at the rules. And there's also the lip. Dull octopus, a second octopus head. Uh, there were some problems with this in the Kickstarter campaign as well. It was discovered that this is too small a piece to be safe uh, around children. So they were gonna remove it and there was such an outcry from all the backers who were like, no, we really want that small extra octopus head. So what they did, very clever, they drilled a hole through it. So if a child is unfortunate enough to um, swallow it, they'll still be able to breathe. Nice touch, good safety feature. Apparently the big octopus head, ah, too big to go down a kid's throat. So no hole required. And then here we have a little crab and some anchors in the player colors. 
and the attack die. That is what you get in Crash Octopus from Itten Games. Uh, and let me tell you, I am super excited to actually go through a rulebook and get this game played. Uh, I love it in games. Uh, they do some excellent stuff. Uh, I mean, just like any company, there are games that I really like and games that are like, eh, whatever. But um, the stuff that I like by them, I love. And I also love dexterity games. So this one uh, has been on my watch list. Uh, I, as soon as I saw the campaign, I was like, I am backing this game. And... Uh, Oh, I really want to get this played. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and if you have played Crash Octopus, if, if you're one of the backers, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the game. I've been seeing it all over board game Twitter. People are loving it. Uh, I can't wait to actually play it. See you next time.